very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. You're in violation of secure communication procedures, Condor. So we just went ahead and fixed the glitch. There is no America. There is no democracy. Our fifth objective, a new world order. There are no nations. There are no monsters. There are no Russians. There are no Arabs. There are no third worlds. There is no West. right wing conspiracy. What do you call it when the assassins accuse the assassin? A new world order. Thank you for plugging in to the Stones Unturned podcast. Well, just a second there, Professor. We, uh, we fixed the glitch. I'm your host, Professor Thomas Henry Horan. He reads everything. Hello there, you lucky devils. You better bet your bippies he reads everything. Good evening. I'm sorry I'm a bit late. Hi, Anthony. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Scott. Whew. Oh, I'm a little tired. Been busy cracking this massive case. Is three nights a week too much? I see pines. Ooh. Well, that's dead air. I think today's catching up with me. I looked behind me and something was catching up. <laughs> Had a bunch of hilarious stuff to tell you. Ha. Ah. People are showing up. There's seven people, nine people. A little, it's, I got out of the shower a little bit ago and I'm a little hot. There's no air moving and I'm too lazy to get up and turn on a fan. And the studio is going to get hot. However, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I have figured the whole thing out. That includes the whole Diddy thing. Diddy is all part of this. Diddy is everything Charles Manson was supposed to be. I'm not joking. 11 people? That's not bad. Oh, God. I got something. Oh. Put the keyboard where it belongs. Okay, that's where that needs to be. Let me jump right in. Let's take a glance or two at the news. I can't play audio in these videos. I can, but I can't. YouTube will have a fit. The talented 10th concept is an instrument of white supremacy. This is actually interesting. You can watch this. It doesn't need video. She's putting, she put something in his drink. Who is this? There might be subtitles. Let me see. Whose drink is she putting it? This is a very famous couple. We'll watch this on the premium stream. I forget who it is he's talking about.
There we go. Cargo ships can't melt steel bridges. <laughs> Meme of the week. Yeah, you don't need audio for this. This is Diddy checking Justin Bieber to see if he's wearing a wire. Now, is he just making a big show out of doing this all the time, or does he really do this all the time? We're going to talk about that. Diddy is everything that Charles Manson was supposed to become. That is not a coincidence. Second, second cargo ship stuck on a bridge. What is going on here? Because these supply chain things... Oh, I've been playing with um, some chat GPT, which Microsoft slaps their label on. It calls it Copilot, but it's chat GPT. What it does, basically, is it plagiarizes and then paraphrases. That's really all it does. But I'll tell you what it's not bad for. You know, it, It's a, not a bad place to start. You can type in a question, and it will go and pull some... You know, It'll slap some abstracts together and, but, and with some sources, like it can get you going. Like if you have writer's block or something, I'm going to use this, the free version. It's like, it's free in the, in the Bing browser. And like, I, I already have a Microsoft OneDrive subscription, you know, from work. I get all the Microsoft apps from work being a teacher. So I get, I get this for free. Well, I get I get some free version of it. It's called Copilot Preview. It's good enough to play with. It, it's a good cure for writer's block. But it's what some of what it comes up with is just ridiculous. Don't want that. But I've been playing with it. It's Yeah, it plagiarizes, then it goes through, it takes each word and it finds another word for that word. Basically, but it's, it doesn't think like it doesn't have, it's not intelligent. There's no intelligence to it. It's glorified bubble sort, but like when you sort search for some, I'll go over this some other time, but especially in my writing classes, when you search for something on Google, you get a list of results and you go through and you can scroll through and pick the results that you think look interesting, or you can get a mix of results. This doesn't do that. This just finds some things and puts a thing together. But it's a good... When you ask it to write poetry or fiction, it's actually kind of a fun exercise. Oh, yeah. Watch the premium stream. We're going to listen to Sarah Vaughn do this. Fred Hampton and Revolutionary Education. I want to, we're going to watch this just for future reference. I'm going to use this. When we talk about the Black Panthers and their connection to the Chinese... Communist Party. Not that the Black Panthers wanted it that way, but the KGB wasn't very successful at all in penetrating, you know, infiltrating the Black Panthers. They weren't really very good at infiltrating the whole Black Power movement. And this was partly because they were terribly racist. <laughs> they just didn't have the, you know, it's in America, you could speak with an Eastern European accent, and actually nobody would be terribly suspicious. But a black person speaking with a Russian accent is very suspicious. The Chinese Communist Party were much more effective at partially infiltrating and penetrating the black power movement. And when we're talking about Tupac Shakur, and we are talking about Diddy, and we are talking about Biggie, we are talking about the, the Black Panthers who were heavily influenced, if not operated, by the Chinese Communist Party, as you shall see. And they aren't the only ones, as you shall see. Yeah, when Frankie... This is... The, you don't have to... If you, Little Bitty Pretty One by Frankie Lyman had a very distinctive voice. I can't play this on a YouTube live stream. But watch the audience's reaction. They didn't know he was black. They booked Buddy Holly and the Crickets at the Apollo Theater sight and scene. And they walked out on the management saw and then they would go ahead. They walked out on stage and the audience just didn't know what to do. They didn't know what to do. And he said, 
And Buddy Holly said, don't worry, y'all ain't what we was expecting neither. And then he started playing and the audience got up and started dancing. But this was just such a shock. They didn't know what to do, I think. I mean, some people didn't like it. I think some people were just, they didn't know what to do. I remember I was a little kid. It was America was still very segregated. The Midwest was very segregated. And you you had to learn these habits. So when somebody broke one of these unwritten rules, nobody knew what to do. Yeah, Mae West. She she's she's one of the greats. Yeah, I'm just I'm getting into these these uh, African American conspiracy theories. <laughs> Some of them are very interesting. This is this is this is Steve Harvey just totally hacking an entire set, an entire riff from Cat Williams. Like, there's just no doubt about it. Well, it's his writers. You know, he doesn't have time to watch Cat Williams, but his writers do. This is a song I have never heard, and it's a nice song. And it was, yeah. We'll listen to it in a minute. Scrooge McDuck tells what would happen if we printed a few billion dollars. <laughs> That's a good one. Watch, you don't need sound for this. This kid hits, a pitch is coming towards the plate, and there's a foul ball coming over from the field next door, and he hits both of them. I've seen a video like this before, but it was like 40 years ago. Look at that. He hits both balls. How do you know which ball is in play? <laughs> That's one for the umpires. Yep, we're showing more videos of those guys coming out of the tunnels. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. That's This scene between Lucille Ball and Tallulah Bankhead is absolutely red hot. <laughs> I forgot what was funny about this. Margaret Lockwood in Night Train to Munich. Let's preview this. Oh yeah, you just yeah, you get it from the subtitles. This yeah, this is this is actual footage of me on the date that every woman I ever went out with. It would be one <laughs> if you know a woman, you know if a woman ever loved you like you love yourself, it would be one of the great romances of history. Oh, this is a good scene. More Mae West. It's really good Mae West. Uh, oh, yeah. Climate scientists don't figure clouds into their climate models. Even though the Earth is mostly covered in cloud. Uh, you know who? Yeah, that was pretty. This is Simon Cowell with somebody. It's not Margaret Chow or whatever her name was. Before was was was, was was is. People learning English. <laughs> <laughs> Who's recording and how do they know what time to be there? Footage of the bridge collapse. Who's recording and how did they know what time to be there? This looks like a permanently mounted camera, but why is it tracking to follow the ship? This is time lapse. The ship wasn't going 200 miles an hour. Where were the tugboats? Yeah, who's recording and how did they know what time to be there? That's a good question. Oh, Jamie Dimon's hypocrisy on Bitcoin. Okay, now we're caught up to where we were before. You can watch. You can watch this. This one doesn't need audio. I love these. Dum 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 dum. <laughs> That's it. Just <laughs> accidents are funny enough, but when you do something stupid to yourself, this is a very good joke. But I won't waste your time with it. Okay. Okay, how many people are here? I'm really tired. Is that 15, 16 people? Okay. Ever published my analysis of the Big Lebowski? Let me Google that and see. 
what they had to do was they had to just start from scratch and resend all those. My article doesn't have to be peer reviewed. There's no statistics or anything. Mine's just an essay. But the ones that have to be peer reviewed, he said, we have to just, we had to go back to the back of the line and they got another issue out. So this issue will probably, I haven't heard from him since, but it might be September before they get, they said they're going to just put it out as quick as they can. Volume 11, number 2? Published 1220? Hold on. Archives. Fall 2023. What's this one? Nope, nothing about Big Lebowski. Can I search Lebowski? No, it's not, still not published yet. I mean, it's a unit. It's 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 the University of Pittsburgh. It's not like it's some fly by night outfit. Yeah, still not archives. Volume 10, see, it's supposed to be volume 10. It was supposed to be volume 10, number one. Volume 10, number one became, that's really volume 10, number two. And volume 10, number two has just never been published. So that's what we're waiting for. Volume 10, number two. If they don't get off their asses pretty soon, I'm going to send it someplace else. Because the, the, whole, the whole point is the 25th anniversary is over. You can read it. It's on my, it's on my website. You know that, right? It's just a it's just an academic journal. It doesn't even matter anymore. Been on TV, who cares? Let me get the private stream going and we'll get over there. I'm retired. I don't need to publish any more articles. I just thought it would have been cool to be in the the big Lebowski 25th of this thing that would have got this journal some publicity and it's it doesn't matter. I don't need it anymore. I don't need anybody except you people. Well, I don't need you people. What I need is the boosters who pay. <laughs> some of you are you people and some of you are not. That's what I need. In fact, we're going to head over there right now. Well, not right now. Let me, let me, it's an old tube type it's an old tube type server. It takes a minute to warm up. These are those really good cobalt tubes, but they take longer to warm up. I'm too tired to even pitch my book. Which, if you haven't read it, you don't know anything about the so-called Zodiac Killer case. The myth of the Zodiac Killer. Strike that and reverse it, okay? The myth of the Zodiac Killer. All you know is the myth. What you don't realize is the actual police reports, the actual witness statements, the actual autopsy reports, the actual fingerprint reports, the actual ballistic reports tell a very different story from the story that you're used to hearing. So... Think of this as chapter one, although there are three parts in here. The first part, I completely debunked Gray Smith's book, which itself was a hoax. The middle section of the book, you can skip. That's an academic, it's a, like a dissertation. It's a short book on the history of uh, vigilante journalism in the San Francisco Bay Area. And then the third section of the book, I go through the police reports case by case, chronological order, the newspaper articles when they when they came out and i show you what really happened and how it all got turned into this big myth then i show you there's only one person in the whole world who could have really written those letters and it turns out his handwriting and these are bona fide examples from 1969 his handwriting is a perfect match for the so-called zodiac killer letters that's chapter one chapter two is the documentary series i think it's currently on bbc is it on peacock right now that's like chapter two. They took, they all read the book and then they made a doc. They followed up on it. They interviewed people. They checked up on it. 
and it turned out really, really, really good. Um, they were shooting more for awards than ratings, which I kind of, I'm grateful for, but I hope they got, uh, Drew said we got pretty decent ratings. So, um, reviews were 5.5 out of 10. Nobody likes this idea. So they hate the documentary. It's one of the best true crime documentaries ever made. And it's not, they didn't just take my book and turn it into a documentary. The book is like chapter two. So the Stones Unturned podcast is like the next 200 chapters. There's so much more. There's so much that they couldn't get around. The guy who actually wrote the letters, when you look at his military records and his academic records and his jobs he had, you're looking at a first round draft pick of the CIA. And he had friends who were big time in the CIA. So you're like, who the hell is this guy? And it just gets wilder and wilder. And it is connected to Manson. And it is connected to Son of Sam. And Patty Hearst. And the zebra cur- murders. And the phony kidnapping of the Lindbergh baby, believe it or not. So that's where you need to start. But if you haven't read that book, you don't know anything about the so-called Zodiac Killer. Now, Drew Beeson came up with a lot of new stuff. And that actually fits in with my work, but he doesn't know that yet. I haven't had him on the show yet. In the meantime, you also need to, you really need to plug in to Drew Hurst Beeson, B-E-S-O-N, and his, he has key racked uh, D.B. Cooper. Sorry, he has cracked D.B. Cooper. And he shows you what really was going on, and, and that all fits. Like the Zodiac, Manson, this was all part of this bigger spooky world, this post-Vietnam spook world that Drew Beeson uh, uh, talks about when he, when he cracks D.B. Cooper. So, so this is on, watch on Peacock. And I think it's on BBC. It's been on BBC lately. Um, you can watch that. That's like chapter two. They did a fantastic job. It's not really, I'm in it, (laughs) but I'm not the main character. I'm not even the main presenter. I'm interviewed for it, and they talk about, they were really nice to use the title of the book for free publicity for me, on top of free publicity for me, and I got to do my thing. I mean, they were they were fantastic, and I'm just, uh, so it took 12 years, and multiple producers <laughs> trying to figure out a way to put this on TV, multiple networks, but the end result, like I was hoping that I would get on some cheapo documentary, a couple of those, get on, maybe get on Joe Rogan or something. Then maybe somebody would decide to do a good documentary about, about the, the Zodiac, but it just went right straight to the top. Like this thing is good enough to win a Peabody or an Emmy or something like that. I don't know. The nominations haven't been announced and they really were swinging for the, for the awards, I think, because everybody else wanted to, really focus on me being this eccentric professor and what I convinced them to do really was focus more on the victims and how the victims will tell you who the perpetrator is. But even the documentary is only chapter two. Okay. So you can order autographed copies of the book. Click the link to the description of this video and get plugged into the stones unturned podcast because you can also buy merchandise. You can buy autographed copies of the book. I recommend getting the Kindle version because if I ever need to update the book, then your Kindle book will automatically update with the new information. But it's been pretty, you'll notice nobody's debunked anything about about this book. So here we go. Um, Let me get this thing going. It is finally going. Let us get it going. So get over to the premium site. Click the link in the description of this YouTube video that you are watching now. By the way, YouTube is starting to throw, not a fit, but they're getting a little scratchy about me live streaming the same show to two channels simultaneously. So it is very likely that very soon these pre-games will only be carried on the uh, Professor Thomas, the old main, with all the subscribers. That is probably going to be. So if I click try again, I have my own custom player. I have my own custom private, private, super private. It's even more private than it was before. Streaming server. And the same goes for my uh, the archived episodes, and you can search inside the videos. 
Now, once once the little wheel starts turning, it takes a while. Once it gets going, it's going. But it's super private, super secure. The chat never goes away, and it is hosted on my private server. It is not hosted on somebody else's third-party server. That's real important. So the chat is not bad, but, I mean, could it be better? Yeah, but it's hosted on my private server, and that's important. Hi, Allard. Hi, Earl. Hi, Nico. Chat is not bad, but I mean... There it goes. Yeah, and then, then it'll start, and then it'll pause, and then it runs, and then it's pretty much... Now it's just running. And that's important. Server. And that's important. So in a few seconds, when the stream settles down. But it's worth it because it's all mine. It's all mine. And with it, like on your phone... You can, um, if you want, you can make it picture in picture because the way it is on my phone, the video's up here and the chat's down here, but you can, on the controller, you can do picture in picture and then you can move it around anywhere you want and, and still do the chat. So if you want to do the chat like this on your device, you can have the picture in picture over here or something and you can see the chat. You can do all that with it. You can move this around, right? Like mo most, most players do that. And you can cast it. If you're on an iPhone, you can cast to Apple TV. If you are on an Android, you can cast to Google Chromecast. Seems to be working pretty good. I love it. It's been very good. Okay. So we're about to say good night to uh, YouTube. I'll be on YouTube, Anthony, but on the other... You know about this one, right? Where can I get the channel? But you know, I have two YouTube channels I'm streaming to simultaneously. The one you're on is not going away, but YouTube is getting a little bit scratchy about me streaming the same content simultaneously to two YouTube channels. So it's the one I had for a long time. Yeah, okay. Is that all right? So it's the one I've already... You already subscribed to it, probably. I was trying to get people migrated over to the one you're on. Nobody's doing that. <laughs> so, thank you very much. I'm not getting rid of this YouTube channel, but the live streaming, they kind of want me to... Oh, good comments. Okay, so here we go. Thank you, YouTube. I will do, I, when when I have time, I'll do some free episodes. I'll probably do some free episodes on Zodiac. And on the um, on the premium channel, we're, we're circling back around very rapidly, like a comet, back towards the, the black hole of rabbit holes, Charles Miles Maddox Manson. That guy pisses me off. If there's one 20th century person more famous than Hitler, it's Charles Manson. And a, a guy who didn't do shit. Okay. Uh, thank you, YouTube. Good night. God bless. Please spay and neuter your cannibals, and we'll see you uh, Sunday.